Hello everyone, and this is Inayat Meer with my SQL maintenance planes automation video. I have set up one maintenance plane. I will set up another one, but I want to show you from A to Z. Currently, I have this backup database task open. This is my first maintenance plane backup 2019. On the top under maintenance plans, you can see that the name I have suggested is backup 2019. So this is a properties of backup 2019. You can see three tabs, general, destination and options. So quickly I can explain to you my destination goes into S drive in backup folder and you will see other options where you can verify the backup integrity also you can look at the general tab where you can see common option you have to set up which database from general tab to backup here i am going to backup my db as a test so you will see my existing backup which is uh, showing a date 12 15 2016 so i am going to uh, run a backup first from execution option and this is a manual backup this is not an automation later on i will show you how to automate this using scheduler so it will take few seconds only because the database is not so big so once it's succeeded you also can go into your location and verify but first you have to look at the backup history so history tells you so this database was backed up on such and such date so if you want to verify the location what you had under your options tab you can go and verify uh, backed up database so that should have a bak extension but every time you run a maintenance plans or you create a maintenance plans creation will give you the same <coughs> excuse me option with your uh, name under your jobs so because you must have to have a sql agent running if sql agent is not running then task will not be completed now <coughs> you can look at uh, the options under your uh, backup location where you can see that the backup was performed on such and such date with the BAK file. So now you see that we have this maintenance plane. But the question is that now you are possibly looking at to do it by yourself. So what we're going to do here, uh, first we will see the schedule or you can set up a schedule. You can have a one time or a recurring schedule. I am setting up here time where I can actually validate now. So 6.23 a.m. you must have to enable the maintenance plan and you see here you have to save it. Otherwise you will see an asterisk right there. Uh, that will not work if you don't save it. So currently you can see here uh, my last backup so once you wait until this time uh, comes, uh, it will actually uh, automatically run. So the purpose of, the, of this uh, is that you can automate your backup under your maintenance plane. And this is a basic way to do that. Later on in my other videos, I will show you how basically you can use advanced options. So here uh, I am showing you now a new visit where you can change the name. You can have any maintenance plane. So I just put here uh, your name here. So it depends what name you're going to have. SQL agent has to be running. So click on next. Once you choose a name, if you want to uh, schedule right now you can do but i will do later on we have to set up here backup database for now for demo purposes because we are showing here a very basic environment so you are going to have a full database backup 
which database or what databases you have to choose from here. So I'll choose my system databases. Uh, that means it will uh, back up my system database or system databases. And under destination, you see my S drive and you have to verify the backup integrity. So this is a very uh, simple uh, process through the visit. You see my backup directory where I'm going to backup. <coughs> my SMTP is not set up, so I cannot send an email. That will be my separate video where you can set up your email profile and with the alerts video. So here you just take a look the options and click on finish. Now you are creating a new maintenance plan through the visit. Now let's run it manually first. Here you see uh, my DB backup previously. Uh, actually when we were creating new maintenance plan, it ran at 6.23 a.m. as you can see that. So that was uh, automatically scheduled for 6.23 a.m. So we do have one manual backup, one automated backup for my DB. So this is my new database, Once the one says your name here. So new name is your name here. That comes under your SQL agent jobs. So the manually rain, this maintenance plan showed up under history. So now you can see the history of this database. Now you can basically uh, execute again. So I showed you previously uh, manually uh, rain schedule for backup 2019 and the second one. This is a new maintenance plan. Uh, your name here. So now I'm executing manually. So that also now shows a history and that is only one. So previously we ran twice, one manual, one uh, automated. So now you can set up a schedule for this, your name here, maintenance plan. You just drag it down. Uh, you can drag it in, in, into the middle of these properties and double click on it. So once you double click, you will see same options, general, destination and options. So you also can see the details, uh, T-SQL queries as well for your knowledge. Here you can scroll down to pick up the databases. I will leave it as it is, system databases, or you can use all databases. Uh, this is up to you. This is all up to you, uh, what database or uh, all databases or system databases here I can choose maybe my DB and uh, model so you can customize multiple databases uh, for this purpose here my destination is same so I can show you everything is good here and everything looks good here you have to click on OK now you set up a uh, basically save first or whenever you change a schedule you can actually uh, save or you should save it. So here you can see currently existing backups. I am removing them. So do not get confused with my existing backups because when we will set up a new schedule for automation or automated backup, you can set up a, a one time on the bottom is you can use for a recurring schedule, but I'm going to show you just right now uh, you make sure you have enabled schedule 634 uh, current time. So based on the current time I'm using to, uh, I'm making it 638. So let's take a look that uh, in a few seconds you will see here uh, at 638 you will see uh, once you save it. First you have to save it. Uh, this uh, schedule is only one time schedule so I'm keep going back and forth to show you you can look at the timings you can look at minutes and you can look at seconds so whichever database backup path you select you have to keep looking at that path and now you see your automated backup came in at 638 but it was 40 seconds so it took a little bit extra than 
40 seconds. So this was just a simple process and I will come back with my advanced videos uh, to show you some other options as well. And thank you for watching this video. Bye.